ask for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Here. Second council seat is vacant. Councilmember Wassinger? Here. Councilmember O'Mara? Here. Councilmember Dolan? Here. Councilmember Stanger? Here. Councilmember Quinn? Here. Madam Chair, we have a quorum. Thank you. Approval of the journal. Move for the approval of the journal of the meeting of April 15, 2014. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The journal is approved. We have no bid openings this evening, so we'll move to communications. Madam Chair, there are no tax compromises this evening, so we'll move to zoning matters. Under zoning matters, item number 16, district. Receiving file. So ordered. Item number 26, district. Receive file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number three, all districts. Receive file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Item number four, six district. Receive file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number five, six district. Receive file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number six, six district. Holding the order of business. So ordered. Item number seven, six district. Receive file and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Moving on to road and bridge matters, item number one, fifth district. Receive file, plans, specifications, and detailed estimate of cost be approved and the director of procurement be authorized to advertise for bids pending federal funding obligation as requested. A copy of this report be sent to the interested parties. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to other communications, item number one, all districts. Receive and file same motion for item number two, and that will be the order. Item number three. Receive, file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Item number four, fifth, first, second, fourth, and sixth districts. Receive and file. So ordered. Item number five, fifth district. Receive, file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number six, sixth district. Receive, file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number seven. <clears throat> uh, same motion uh, through item number nine. And that will be the order. Item number 10, third and seventh districts. Receive file and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number 11, 6th district. Holding the order of business. So ordered. Item number 12. Receive and file and that will be the order. Item number 13. Receive file and the county council will be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. Same motion for item number 14 and that will be the order. Item number 15, 4th District. City of and County Council will be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. A copy of this report be sent to the City of Flushing. So ordered. Item number 16, 5th District. City of and County Council will be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. And a copy of this report be sent to the City of Olivet. So ordered. Item number 17. <laughs> Receive Received, file, and the reappointment be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 18. Receive and file same motion through item number 20. And that will be the order. Uh, do we have any add-ons? No, ma'am. Okay, kind of executive duties. And Madam Chair, this evening, um, after I, I received from Pat Whitaker of the ZMD board her uh, letter of her resignation. And it reads, effectively, immediately, I am, request, I am resigning from my appointed position of director for the Zoo Museum District. I want to thank you for appointing me and asking me to be of service. You have always been supportive of inclusion, and for that I am very grateful. I agree to serve as I thought it was a way to give back to the community that I so love. But she also indicated I asked for this. I resign with a heavy heart, but I do so in hope that everyone can get back to the business at hand and continue to develop 
the ZMD into a premier national model that it has become. Sincerely, Pat Riddiger. Thank you. Um, there are no reports of special committees this evening, so we'll move to the public forum. We have two speakers. Our first speaker is John Signorini. Please limit your comments to three minutes. Okay. Uh, my name is John Signorino. Uh, I'm a resident of the town and country, and I have a business in Chesterfield. And I'm here to show support for the soccer development in Chesterfield. Um, show my support and the support of many other business owners, uh, which we had probably 50 or 60 of them at our restaurant last night. We were hosting a chamber uh, event there. And uh, the great majority are in, are in huge support of the soccer project to bring new economic development to the Chesterfield area. And as a parent of two grown girls, they're now both in college, um, to express how I would like to see a soccer development like this, even though I won't be involved as a parent anymore, to have it locally, to cut down the travel for St. Louis parents to go and take your money elsewhere to other cities, like Kansas City or Chicago, Peoria, et cetera, and love just to see this development here and keep these funds here and bring additional business to this entire uh, economic area, not just Chesterfield, but how it will carry over into the other developments that surround Chesterfield. Thank you. Thank you. George Thorman. I really am George. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it happens so often. <laughs> I'm George Thorman, and I'm with Game On Sports Development. Uh, I read a quote from Theodore Roosevelt earlier today that says, the best thing to do is the right thing. The next best thing to do is the wrong thing. And the worst thing to do is nothing. We ask that you do the best thing, that you do the right thing. As elected officials, you serve St. Louis County and its residents. We ask that you vote in favor of a plan that spends $4 million to support three facilities instead of $6 million to support one. We ask that you contribute $4 million to instigate $28 million in private investment, that you support the Chesterfield facility in conjunction with the Fuse and Gallagher facilities to have the most economic impact where there's already infrastructure, where there's already places for people to spend their money, where you are able to collect the tax dollars that you need that make a second facility possible in the near future, where existing businesses could expect a 20 to 30% increase, where you can expect up to a billion dollars. Can everyone hear that? One billion dollars, up to a billion dollars over 20 years, and up to 1,000 new jobs. That's a huge number. So we ask that you do the right thing by contributing to infrastructure improvement on county-owned ground. It's land that you own. And we ask that you contribute to the infrastructure on there for the good of the community, for the good of the young athletes in the community, for your small businesses, and for all your constituents. I also have a statement from Bridget Nations, who works at the Chamber of Commerce in Chesterfield. She says, on behalf of, of the Chesterfield Chamber of Commerce, I strongly urge you to approve the multi-sport complex and change in Chesterfield and the county allocation for it. The economic growth from this project will benefit our 650 business members. We are eager to see the land developed in a way that will benefit our residents as well. The children and families of St. Louis region have long needed a venue for such sporting events and tournaments that can be held in this new complex. The Chesterfield area is easily accessed from all areas of the region. As a longtime resident of Chesterfield and a mother of four busy teenagers, I welcome GSI to our neighborhood and look forward to the project of great sporting opportunities in Chesterfield. Thank you. Thank you. That will conclude the public forum. We'll move to introduction of bills. 
Bill number 74, introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $3,000 from the United States Food and Drug Administration, appropriating the same for support of the FDA Voluntary National Retail Standards for Food Inspection Program, and authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents. Bill number 75, introduced by Councilmember Irby, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $60,394.88 the Missouri Department of Public Safety, appropriating the same for supportive services for residents of the Kathy J. Wyman Shelter, authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents. Bill number 76, introduced by Council Members Irby and Wassinger, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $7,250 from the Metropolitan Park and Recreation District, a.k.a. Great River Greenway, for production of signage and brochures for water trails at Creepcore Lake and Simpson Lake, and authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents. Bill number 77, introduced by Council Member Irby, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $1,500 from the Metropolitan Park and Recreation District, aka Great River Greenway, for support of a kickoff event for the water trail at Creepcore Lake, and authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents. Bill number 78, introduced by Council Member Wassinger, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $5,498 from the United States Fish and Wildlife Service for support of restoration of native vegetation and woodland at Queenie Park, and authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents. <coughs> Bill number 79, introduced by Council Member Quinn, an ordinance amending ordinance number 25,281 by repealing and reenacting sections one and two pertaining to a grant from the Missouri Department of Transportation for support of design phase services for the Taxiway Charlie Project at Spirit of St. Louis Airport. Bill number 80, introduced by Council Member Quinn, an ordinance amending ordinance number 25,284 by repealing and reenacting section two pertaining to a contract with Carson Sprinker Hoff Incorporated for engineering design services for Taxiway Charlie at Spirit of St. Louis Airport. Bill number 81, introduced by Council Member O'Mara, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to grant an easement to Union Electric Company for extension of electric service to the emergency communication site-N4 facility located in John D. Briscoe Park. Bill number 82, introduced by Council Member Irby, an ordinance approving acceptance of donation of $3,500 from Youth in Need and appropriating same for support of acquisition of bus passes for youth in need transportation to and from family court functions. Bill number 83, introduced by Council Member Irby, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a fuel sale contract and up to three one year renewals with the city of Wellston. Bill number 84, introduced by Council Member Irby, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract with Public Consulting Group Incorporated for review of reimbursement rates of the Children's Service Fund for service contracts. Bill number 85, introduced by Council Member O'Mara. An ordinance providing for the establishment of a public park and recreation facility site consisting of approximately 15.15 .15 acres at 13789 LeSaver Drive, authorizing acquisition of the land, authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents, and appropriating $250,000 from the unappropriated balance of the park maintenance fund for purchase of the property. Bill number 86, introduced by <coughs> Councilmember O'Mara. An ordinance amending ordinance number 13,165 is amended by repealing and reenacting section three pertaining to PC 151-86, Ken Bellman. Madam Chair, that is all the bills. <coughs> Perfection of bills. Bill number eight, introduced by Council Member O'Mara. Hold, please. <coughs> so ordered. Bill number 60, introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for perfection of bill number 60. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 60 is perfected. Bill number 61, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 61. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 61 is perfected. Bill number 62, introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for perfection of bill number 62. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 62 is perfected. Bill number 63, introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for perfection of bill number 63. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 63 is perfected.
Bill number 64 introduced by Council Member Stanger. I move for perfection of Bill number 64. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Bill number 64 is perfected. Bill number 65 introduced by Council Member Quinn. I'd like to take it up. I move perfection of Bill number 65. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries. Bill number 65 is perfected. Bill number 66 introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for uh, perfection of Bill number 66. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Bill number 66 is perfected. Bill number 67 introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect Bill number 67. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Bill number 67 is perfected. Bill number 68 introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for perfection of Bill number 68. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 68 is perfected. Bill number 69 introduced by Council Member Irby. Please hold. Bill number 70 introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect Bill number 70. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 70 is perfected. Bill number 71, introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for perfection of Bill number 71. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 71 is perfected. Bill number 72, introduced by Council Member O'Meara. I take it up, move for perfection of Bill number 72. Second. Was it? Well, there's a substitute for yeah. the next one. Yeah. Okay, so, um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Um, any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 72 is perfected. Bill number 73 introduced by Council Member O'Meara. Madam Chair, we have a substitute bill. Please read substitute. Substitute bill number one for bill number 73 introduced by Council Member O'Meara. An ordinance amending Title VIII St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended occupations, businesses, and licensing by enacting and adding a new chapter to be known as Chapter 825, Residential Rental Property Licensing Code. Uh, move for the adoption of substitute bill number one for bill number 73. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. no. Um, motion car carries bill number 73. Oh. This is the, I'm sorry, the amended one? Substitute. Yeah, substitute. 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 So bill one Substitute for bill number one for bill number 73 is adopted. Okay. Final passage of bills. Madam Chair, can I ask Council Member O'Meara if you wanted to read this for perfection? No. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, okay. just adopting that substitute? We're just adopting that. Okay. Um, final passage of bills. Bill number 330 introduced by Council Member Burkett. I, are we still holding that? Yes, hold. Hold. Um, we're, uh, bill number 330 is held and that will be the order. Bill number 53 introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for final passage to bill number 53. Second. Roll call. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Meara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Stanger? Aye. Council Member Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on bill number 53, there are six ayes. Bill number 53 is finally passed. Bill number 54, introduced by Council Member Irby? I move for final passage to bill number 54. Second. Roll call. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Meara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Stanger? Aye. Council Member Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill Number 54, there are six ayes. Bill Number 54 is finally passed. Hmm. Bill Number 55, introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for final passage of Bill Number 55. Second. Roll call. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Meara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Stanger? Aye. Council Member Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill Number 55, there are six ayes. Bill Number 55 is finally passed. 
Bill number 56, introduced by Councilmember O'Meara. Take it up, move for final passage. <coughs> Bill number 56. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby. Aye. Councilmember Wassinger. Aye. Councilmember O'Meara. Aye. Councilmember Dolan. Aye. Councilmember Stanger. Aye. Councilmember Quinn. Aye. And I'm sure on Bill number 56, there are six ayes. Bill number 56 is finally passed. Bill number 57, introduced by Councilmember Stanger. Uh, please hold. So ordered. Bill number 58, introduced by Councilmember Stanger. I move for final passage of Bill number 58. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, Bill number 58, there are six ayes. Bill number 58 is finally passed. Bill number 59, introduced by Councilmember Stanger. I move for final passage of Bill number 59. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill number 59, there are six ayes. Bill number 59 is finally passed. Moving on to <coughs> resolutions, Madam Chair, we have 12 this evening. Resolution number one, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Resolution. Can we do the first paragraph, please? Yes, sir. Resolution, whereas Colin Hoop has completed the requirements for Eagle Scout and been found deserving of the rank of Eagle Scout by an Eagle Scout Board of Review. I, I move for adoption of resolution number one. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. And turn resolution number one, there are six <coughs> ayes. Resolution number one is adopted. Resolution number two, introduced by Councilmember Stanger. I move for adoption of resolutions two through 12. They're all, uh, uh, they're honorary resolutions. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on resolutions two through 12, there are six ayes. Resolutions number two through 12 are adopted. Unfinished business, item number one. Hold on the order of business and that will be the order. And Madam Chair, under new business this evening, we have four prepared orders. I move for adoption of orders one through four. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries orders number one through four are adopted. Will we adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries, meeting is adjourned.